Hi there. Really good to see you all. I'm uh, recording or getting prepared to preach for this Sunday, uh, the 17th of September, the 15th Sunday in Pentecost. And as we look at Matthew chapter 18, my good friend Peter gets himself in hot water yet again with Jesus. And I just really love Peter. I find that Peter reflects to me certain aspects of my personality or, or actions um, that I, I just really relate to how he conducts himself and therefore um, follow him quite carefully and enjoy watching his journeys. So this time around, Peter thinks he's got it cased. He's going to come to Jesus with a great question and he's going to use a great big number. He's think the theme is forgiveness. And he asks Jesus this beautiful question of Jesus, if someone in the church sins against me, how many times do I have to forgive them? Seven times? So he makes this almost a statement or question, if you will, uh, that, uh, of Jesus saying this, this huge number of seven times. Well, of course, we know that Jesus then comes back and says, no, no, Peter, not seven times. 77 times. So <laughs> Jesus takes this big number of Peters and turns it into something astronomical, probably in the minds uh, in the mind of Peter. And in our minds, if we look at forgiveness, boy, if you struggle with forgiveness, trying to do it, try doing it 77 times in the same scenario. Uh, forgiveness is one of the disciplines of Christian faith, and it's a tricky one. And from my own experience, I'll tell you that that I have found that you have to talk to God. You have to plead with God sometimes. And there's times um, when we go before God and say, I can't forgive God. You are the great forgiver, and I don't know how to do this. Um, God will open doors. God will let you get your toe in the door. God will shine a little bit of light through the door. And then when we are able to engage in this act of forgiveness, it's going to do tremendous things for us. Because every situation and every uh, imaginable um, thing in life um, require forgiveness? Not necessarily. I think we can explore that deeper on Sunday, though. And I think that uh, I'd love to see you in church. It would be wonderful uh, if you're not able or you're out in uh, further away and, and, and see this from a distance. Just know that God loves you. God accepts you exactly as you are. And just like Peter, God will keep throwing back questions to you as you ask him questions. So don't be shy. Sunday morning, 9 o'clock at St. Mary's, 11.15 at St. Stephen's here in the parish of Central Saanich in this beautiful Diocese of Ireland and Inlets where we live. I sure hope we can see you. In the meanwhile, travel well with God and be blessed. Thank you.